up everybody it's your boy heaven hollywood for the ie network and this is the heaven hollywood report let's get into it so queen Nicki minaj uh put on her instagram that she had a special announcement coming up thursday 10 30 p.m she also said that she's going to be on time <laughs> And, matter of fact, she'll be early. Which I believe that she's saying 10.30 because she's going to be closer to 11.30. Because whatever this is, is going to probably be dropping at, at midnight on Friday. Now, a lot of people was DMing me saying, Hey, what is it? Ask your OVO guy. Because Drake tweeted a picture, excuse me, not tweeted, but posted a picture of, of Nikki in, in the Nikki studio, Nikki studio, and on his Instagram story. Now, if you don't recall, earlier this week, Drake, you know, changed his, you know, even though there was talk about Certified Lover Boy coming out, you know, it's summertime now, coming out and dropping real soon in the summer. Now, um, I've originally heard that it would be out before, first I said before October, uh, heard before October. Then people said, I, I got back, that it was going to be before the end of August. Now he went and changed his profile it says certified underneath it. So a lot of people was like, yo, I think he's dropping certified lover boy soon. Because there's one thing about uh Drake with certified lover boy that we pretty much got up to up now that he's not gonna promote it much. He's not gonna be like, oh, next week he's just gonna drop it. Cause he's afraid of it getting leaked. So you check that box. It's something that he's going to promote very short. He's just going to throw out because everyone's waiting for it. Now, remember, recently he was over Nikki's house in the studio. So what I'm thinking is whatever they were working on at that time a couple of weeks ago has now been recorded, mastered, and ready to put out. Now. Is this the certified lover boy. Lead single. That's why Nikki's saying. Oh, it's very important. So some people asking me. Ask find out. So as you know. I'm very good friends with someone in OVO. I've been knowing him since he was a kid. And every now and then, you know, he'll give me little breadcrumbs or what have you. I'm not going to sit up here in front and act like he gives me all the tea because he doesn't. He'll get in trouble. He can't do that. I would never disrespect him and ask him for that. But I ask him for, you know, enough. Hey, do you know what's going on? Is certified love boy coming out. It's another. Now, he didn't tell me whether this is a lead single. He did not tell me um, what. Is coming up on Thursday. He did tell me that him and Nikki have been working on a lot of stuff. And from what I hear, Drake, from what he was telling me and what I got from it, Drake may even produce some records on her new project. Now, I don't believe it's the documentary because regardless of how big Nikki is, HBO Max is, is not going to just do a surprise release, right? Now, if she is announcing it, she's announcing the release date of it, but it will not be coming out Thursday or Friday. They may, she may, she may say, I finally have a release date. It could be that. But judging from Drake, 
with the YMCMB shirt on. Notice that. And he's bopping his head like he's listening to something. And then the next picture is Nikki's studio. I'm going to assume it's something involving Nikki and Drake in music. Now, let me tell you what it better not be. <laughs> it better not be that seeing green video like, like no one cares anymore. I don't want to see the seeing green video now. That was something I wanted to see weeks ago. When they dropped the song, they should have dropped the video the same night. Song probably would have made it to number one if they would have did a video the same night as the song. Now, some people are saying it's her announcing that she's going to do the verses. I don't think she. I don't think she would do a, a live to announce that. I don't think she'd do a live to announce that. I think Nikki would just say, I accept whatever and put it out in a tweet. I don't think she would go and do a live so close to midnight on Friday. I believe it's something to do with music, her and Drake. Whatever he was over her house working on a few weeks ago. I also remember... When Nikki did a live a few weeks ago, she she made notion to, I'm going to be making an announcement soon. Remember that? She said, I'm going to be making an announcement soon. I'm going to be letting you guys know something, you know, very soon. So that's why I don't think it was the verses. Because she said that before Lil' Kim even made that comment. So, you know, I'm not going to come on here and act like my connect told me what's happening. But just judging from his responses, I just get that Drake, whenever this new Nikki project drops, is going to probably have some production for the first time on Nikki's album. You might even see some 40 stuff. You know, on Nikki's album. Now, then there was another thing. Since she is no longer with, um, she's no longer with Young Money. Remember, years ago, I told you guys that she wanted, Drake wanted to sign Nikki. To OVO. Remember that. And he made a comment that. Whenever she wanted that spot. It's there for her. So. Interesting enough. She's now. No longer with YMCMB. And he said. That that spot's always open for you. If you want it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, I don't believe it's the verses. I don't believe it's the documentary unless it, she's saying we have a release date for the documentary. And I don't think it's her lead single. Because she would definitely be promoting that a little more. Now, I do believe Drake does not really need to promote Certified Loverboy anymore. So, if that is the lead single, if, it, if it's coming out, if that's the lead single for Certified Loverboy and it's with Nicki, that's a big time move. That's a big time move. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, a lot of people like. Her moving cryptically, a lot of she, they like cryptic messages, and they say that when you don't announce it ahead of time, that prevents it from getting leaked. She's doing a lot of stuff out of her studio. She's not going to other studios, so that's one thing right there that prevents that takes away a lot of leaks. See what people understand about leaks? Most of the time, when it leaks. It's not the record label. It's not the the uh, 
artist's fault. It's so, it's too many people in the studio. That's how leaks happen. It's too many people in the studio, and then there's some person that some juicy mouth person that runs their mouth, and a, a, an engineer, an extra producer, a sound person that goes and 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 leaks the music. But by her just doing the music in her studio and having one or two people there, Drake may even been mixing it. Having one or two people there, that takes away leaks. And if it does leak, you know who to pinpoint. So I believe she said Thursday, 1030, because she knows she's going to be late. and It's going to be closer to midnight. And it, I believe it's going to be music with her and Drake. That's why he had the YMCMB sweatshirt on. And according to my dude, they have definitely been working on stuff together. Now, if it is not music, and if it's the release of her documentary, okay, that's cool too. The release date of a documentary. Just as long as it's not the seeing green video or the announcement of the verses, I'm cool with it. So we'll see what happens uh, Thursday night. That's all I have for you guys. I'm sorry that I don't have more of an inside scoop. But judging from what I did get, I believe it is music with Nikki and Drake. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. For the IE Network, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this and all the other videos with your friends. Peace.